Hey guys, thanks for watching. So as you can see, I'm in my bathroom right now. So even though the quality isn't as great and it's kind of echoey in here, I figured it's better than nothing. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on just a wedding look. So without further ado, let's get started. The next thing I'm gonna do is just prime with my Benefit Professional. And I wish you guys could see my setup right now because my phone is literally taped to my mirror. But it actually works a lot better than I thought it would, so I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. It's 24 hour long wearing, so it will last you through the entire day. So I'm just gonna put some on my hand and dab it, um, I just saw into my face, so. All right, so once you have that on, I like to do like a thin layer to start off with, and then if you need to add more coverage, then you can add, always add more, but you don't wanna start off with too much and then be like, oh my gosh, what did I just do? I'm using my Real Quick Sneak sponge to blend that out. And something that I also like to do when I'm blending out my foundation is just drag some of the excess onto my lips to neutralize that color because later we're going to be putting on some lip color, so it helps. So next I'm going to take my Maybelline um, Age Rewind Concealer and that's in the shade Neutralizer. Oh, and the shade I was using for the foundation was number 103 Natural Buff. Once you're happy with what that looks like, um, go ahead and set your face. Once you look like a corpse, <laughs> you're probably going to want to add some bronzer to make you not look like a corpse anymore. I just like to take the Benefit Hula Bronzer and just lightly buff that into my skin. Next, I'm just going to do a little tiny bit of contouring. Um, I don't like to do a whole lot because, you know. But I like to take a MAC eyeshadow. This one's a little ashy, which is good. Um, and, the, and it's in the shade Espresso. And I take a little tiny eyeshadow blending brush and just find my cheekbone by kind of making a fish face. And I just go like hardly down at all. my nose, right on the sides of my nose, and then that's it. And I actually I do a little on my lip for kicks and giggles. So that's all. You don't want to go crazy with contouring because if you don't wear it every day then you're going to probably look crazy. So just blend that out to make it look a little more natural, like, yes, I totally have cheekbones. Don't even mind me. So, once you're nice and semi-chiseled, um, get a blush. I like to use Bobbi Brown in the shade Nectar. Um, it's a peach pink shade. Doesn't really look like that in the camera, but I promise it is. So it's really cute for summer brides. Um, I'm going to make like a fish face slash smile and it looks really weird but it actually works. <laughs> and you 
can never go wrong with a little bit of highlighter. Becca highlighter on your cheekbones. This is Champagne Pop. So let's move on to the good old eyes. So I just like to take a flat eyeshadow brush and a nice skin colored shade to just set my eyelids since we did put on concealer on the eyelids earlier. Grab your trusty blending brush and I'm gonna take I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Modern Renaissance palette. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> but I'm taking the shade Golden Ochre. It's my fave to start off with. And I'm just putting that right in the crease. Blending that in windshield wiper motions. I kind of like to start off like right here with the color and then blend it out. And that helps add some dimension to your crease. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Bon Fresco. It's a light purple shade, and I love that color. Top off the excess, and I'm gonna put that right where I just put that other color. So I'm really excited because Jesse and I are moving soon, which is so exciting. We're buying a house. Um, so we finally get to move out of this apartment and have more space and we're probably going to try to rent, it, rent rooms out to people so that we can be more in community with people. So I'm really excited about that. Should be good. Alright, so here's a look at my eyes right now just so you can see with those two colors. I think I'm going to use this shade. It's called Limit and it's in the Naked 3 palette. <coughs> drop your flat brush on the ground. And then same thing with the, as those other two colors, but I'm gonna kind of put it more on my lid. So I'm gonna go in with Nooner right here in the Naked 3 palette as well. Same blending brush a little bit lower than all of the other shades. And then a little bit more focused on the outer edge of your eye. Next I'm going to take this brush, uh, MAC 217. Uh, it's like a tapered blending brush pretty much and Warm Taupe in the Anastasia palette. And I'm just gonna focus that right on the outer edge of my eye and then up into my crease with a super light hand. So I'm gonna add Cypress Umber, Umber, I don't know how you say it, on that same brush and Really focus that in on the outer edge. Alright. Do not hold your brush like this. Unless you're lazy like me. Then you can do it. <laughs> so last but not least, I think. We'll see. I'm gonna add this shade, the darkest shade in the chocolate bar palette. And I'm gonna get a little pencil brush, get some of that on my pencil brush, and just add that dark shade to my lash line, kind of, and then more up. And then, you guessed it, blend. So I said that was the last thing, but I lied. I'm going to re-highlight my inner corner with that tempera shade and the Renaissance palette. I already kind of did my brows before, but I'm just gonna touch them up a little bit. Once you're happy with how your brows look, 
which I'm never really happy with how my brows look, but you gotta just keep going. Um, we can move on to curling your lashes. You guys, I am not good at eyeliner. <laughs> that scares me. I'm gonna try eyeliner anyways, even though I'm probably gonna fail at it. But before that, so I can keep stalling, <laughs> I am going to take that highlighter that I used earlier and just highlight my brow bone. No more stalling. <laughs> I'm using L'Oreal Carbon Black. And I think it's a felt liner. I'm not sure. I don't really like it. But I'm gonna use it anyways because I don't have anything else because I don't like eyeliner. Alright, I'm gonna take this black liner from Marc Jacobs. I got it in a sample for my birthday present from Sephora like two years ago. So yes, it's probably expired, but it still works. So I'm gonna put that in my waterline. Um, we're almost done with this look. I'm just going to add some color to my lower lash line. So I'm going to take a pencil brush and golden ochre. And I'm also going to take blonde fresco. And then warm taupe. I'm just going to add that to my outer part of my lash line. I'm going to take a little bit of the cypress umber. Last thing is mascara, and I'm using L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black. Raise your hand if you make a cute face when you put on mascara. You guys, we all do it. What hate? So, once you do your top lashes, just do lightly. Do your bottom lashes. Okay, guys. Last thing, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Art Stick in the shade Bear. And I'm actually going to mix that color with my favorite lipstick of all time, Faux so by MAC. It's the best ever. So pretty. So this is a final look. I'll get close up so you can see it. If you have any questions, um, comment them down below. And then I just want to wish all you brides um, congratulations. I hope that you have an amazing wedding day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And then subscribe to my channel um, to see more videos. I'm going to try to start to be more consistent. And in that. And if you want to see more videos, then subscribe to my channels. I'm going to try to be more consistent with putting them out. So even if I have to use my iPhone, I'm going to do it. So thank you for watching. I'm going to take off the tape now and take you to natural life. <laughs> oh my gosh. I totally wasn't joking about having my cell phone taped to the mirror. Okay, I'm gonna take you out to natural lighting so you can actually see what this look looks like. All right. So this is the finished look. All right, I hope you guys have a great day whenever you're watching this. I will see you later, bye.